On this edition of Drum TV, we got Swiss Chris, and we're going to talk about stick tricks. I'd like to try the thing you did while you do it. I, I do the helicopter thing. Yeah. You do Which one? Do one, two, and ready, go. Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I wanted to try that. There's many forms of helicopter tricks I do. I'm going to show you a form where it uses both hands, and you're going to get multiple strokes from each hand. Okay, the initial move was, was that, as seen before. Okay, it's a full circle 360. These two fingers are propelling the stick. These two. The other three get out of the way. And then I just come down and I'm going to th show you the three group in form. Twirl and then three hits. Twirl and three hits. Okay? Same thing with the other hand. The other hand is going this way, which is counterclockwise. Okay? Same thing where you're getting these three fingers out of the way. These two are mostly doing the motion. Okay. Nice and slow. And then three hits again. Okay. So now when you combine them, one, two, three, one, two, three. Definitely takes a lot of practice. Sometimes, when you develop it a little bit, it's going to be easier to get faster. Okay, let's start slow with the basic twirl, come around, and then three hits. What do you say to those people who say that stick tricks is a gimmick and that those who practice stick tricks are less quality drummers than those who don't? I say uh, that's your opinion, but basically when you do a stick trick, you play in rests, and the rest is as important as a note. So if you want to play a lot of notes, that's fantastic. What, what it is is like you fire more neurons in your brain, so what you're doing is you play in rests, you actually play and rest. It's all movement, it's all circles. So stick tricks are proven to help empower kids and also help you fire more neurons in your brains. So then would you say that learning stick tricks is actually a way of learning an advanced drumming technique? Yes, that's what it is. Because you, you move in so many different muscle groups and you're sending so many signals from your brain. Let's say I'm just playing a free stroke. I'm sending a cer certain signals recognizing a free stroke. If I do a twirl, my brain has to send so many more informations. There's so many more small muscle groups moving. It's actually a form of, of, of keeping you alert. It's called full brain activity. It's fibration. You're raising the fibration level of a person. So what you're doing is empowering children to practice, and then they learn those tricks. And what happens is they're better in school. They're doing better in math. Uh, they, they can focus more because it, it, it needs a lot of focus at the beginning before, before it comes second nature. So it's fun. Like when I saw Jojo Meyer, who was a fantastic technician and drummer, and just a guy that pushes the envelope, and, and I saw him play, and he was doing this this trick, what? Just in the right hand you spin clockwise, in the left hand you spin counterclockwise, and this is how you can practice it. Tommy Lee, a lot of guys doing this using doubles and playing, you know, doing this. 
doing this, which right hand again is clockwise, left hand is counterclockwise, so you can do multiple uh, twirls. And what it does is like with the light sticks, it creates those circles and cycles. <laughs> Chris, Chris, thanks for being on Drum TV. Thank you, Dan. It's a pleasure, and we hope you got something great out of this. We're going to get out of here with the Bo Diddley Improv. I do drum solos and I break glass behind me. I break windows. Chris nearly destroyed the set. Terrible. Sorry, guys. <laughs>